Today we are talking some finances with Chaz King, a financial representative at Modern Woodman of America. And we know the economy's been a little bit different and a lot of people, you know, they may have been counting on their social security benefits to get them through their retirement, but that might not necessarily be the case. So what do you suggest for supplemental income for a retirement? Yeah, that's that's such a good question, Stephanie. There's it's such a it's such a good question. There really isn't one uh, best or generic answer mm -hmm. to give to that because it's all going to be unique depending on the individual uh, situation. Everyone has a different idea of what they need in retirement, what they want their retirement to look like. Um, everyone has a different idea of just what retirement in general looks like mm -hmm. to them. So uh, we like to refer to retirement as just being in the position where you're financially free to do the things that you want to do whenever you want to do them. So um, giving yourself enough time to grow that nest egg, one of the most important things that we could uh, advise you to do is start planning right away and more specifically work with a financial professional to do that planning to ensure that um, you have enough time and to ensure that you accumulate enough money so that when that day comes, when you make that transition, uh, you don't have to worry about running out of money in retirement. You have enough funds sufficient enough. And I think you made a valid point. You know, everybody's got their own version of retirement. Some people yeah. want to travel the world when they retire. Some people want to get in a cabin and hide away from the world. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. So each story has their own level of how much it's going to cost them. What should people be doing to yes. boost the money in their retirement account? That's why it's so important to speak with a financial a professional because there's so many different ways you can do that so many different moving parts um, we want to make sure that we have uh, enough money for you to last your your entire life so nobody wants to get forced back into the workforce uh, and we like to use the phrase you only get one shot at retirement so there's a lot of people that retire and like to do something part-time or maybe mm -hmm. pick up a passion uh, or a hobby that they weren't able to uh, while they were younger um, but being in the position financially, it's different when you're in the uh, position to make that choice as opposed to being forced into that choice uh, once you retire. So uh, there's many different types of ways that you can save, different accounts that you can open, and the best thing to do would be to give one of us a call here at the office. Again, speak with a financial professional that can really sit down with you, your spouse, the people you care about most, your business, and kind of throw everything on the table and really look at, okay, what's most important to you? and then we formulate a plan, something that can help you uh, get to wherever it is that you want to go. So working with the, working with one of us, giving us a call here is really the best the best advice that I can give. And do that sooner rather than later. Yes, the, the, yeah. the, sooner, the, the sooner the better, but also it's important to note it's never too late. Um, you know, even if you're in the final stages and feel like it's too late, it, it's never too late to give us a call or to visit with one of us. All right, and what's the number? 517-393-3800. All right, very good. Well, thanks for the information today. Thank you. And happy retirement for anybody out there that's retiring soon. Congratulations. You deserve it. Well, stick around. We've got more fun coming up on Studio 10.